Hello everyone, my name is Pacha and happy release day of the Arid Animal Pack and update 1.14. Yeah, if you haven't, if you didn't know, today is a new Planet Zoo DLC releases with 8 new animals alongside a new big update with a couple changes and cool new things to play around with. In this video we want to build for one of these new animals and you have probably seen it in the title already. We are building of course for the adorable small sand cat today. And before we start talking about what the idea for this DLC, for this, not for this DLC but for this habitat is and what I'm thinking now about the DLC now that I played around with it. Let's, I just have to say first, I have to say thank you to Frontier, a big, big thank you to Frontier for providing me with early access for the DLC as well as the update 1.14 so that I can make these videos for you guys here so that you have something to watch, maybe to get some inspiration from on release day. So big thank you to Frontier for providing me with early access. And now let's talk about what we are doing in this episode today. As I said, we are gonna build for the amazingly adorable sand cat today. And my idea for the sand cat was, which you probably also saw a little bit in the intro cinematic already, um, was to have it like here in this backyard, courtyard-esque style of, of an habitat where it's between it's between the, the the buildings the houses and everything living in this abandoned old courtyard it's kind of like cats living in the streets of, of a bustling city kind of like that because the sand cat looks a lot like a regular house cat or something like that or like a wild cat um just, it's just very small and then and that's why because i, I thought yeah maybe build this courtyard as habitat for them with some cracks in the wall um, that is that are surrounding the courtyard so that you can see inside it maybe one of those one of the spots that you see are already here is uh, a door frame leading into the courtyard that acts as an as a viewing window for this habitat and this is how this idea came to be you will later see I also add stuff like like a well like some uh, leftover ceramic vases and such things so to really give uh, th this backyard courtyard streets feeling for this habitat and i and i have to say it turned out really cool in the end but yeah um this is not all as you already saw I, uh, this intro cinematic was also a little bit different from the usual kind of in intro cinematic where the camera is just panning or going from one side to the other or forth and back as the type of, of, of cinematics we made all of us content creators made uh, over the last years and this one was a little bit different with more motion in it with more different angles and that is because of course of the new camera mode that we are getting or that you guys are getting with update 1.14 which I also talk a lot more about in my update showcase video that is already live and that you can watch on the channel uh, already since yesterday when the NDA dropped and we could finally show our stuff to you guys. So if you are want to know a little bit more about the update as well as the DLC because I also made a video about that, uh, I highly recommend, highly recommend watching these videos to get you up to speed of about everything new in both the update and the DLC. So this new tool is, is quite cool and um, it it basically explains why many people call this update the content creator YouTuber update because this tool, I think, why you can use it of course as a normal person as well, but no, we're all normal, but as a non-creator person you can of course use this tool as well. It is very much targeted towards us content creators to make some cool cinematic camera uh, shots and everything like that. And it is really nice to work with. Of course, I need still need some practice with it until I really know what I do with it. But it is still cool. Um, you can make some awesome shots with different camera angles and the camera spinning around, getting going slower and everything. And I'm trying to use it for of course, all of this uh, of this intro cinematics for uh, Wahat Jamila here, 
as well as yeah for my other videos maybe if if, if it fits um, what I need for this video. But let's also talk about the DLC and my final thoughts on it. Now that I played with it, now that I work with it, uh, that I saw the animals and everything. Uh, what are my thoughts on the DLC? If it's worth it, if it's a uh, yeah, if it's worth it to buy for someone and. I have to say, it depends. <laughs> As always, um, if you people watch, know my videos for a long time and know my um, opinion videos about DLC, say no. I like to say it depends um, of if you have to buy this DLC or not. Uh, it, but it really depends this time on what you want from a DLC. If you are, if you want some, if you want, yeah, if you want more African animals, and because this um, this DLC. As you probably know, is your know, only African animals. If you want more African animals for your zoos, because I get it, um, African zones are mostly the biggest zones in zoos. Then this you see is yeah, a ten of t out of ten for you guys. Um, the models of these animals are among the best models ever made by Frontier, and I can only hope that future DLCs will have that um, grade of quality in them because. They look all amazing, and in the right lighting and everything, you could almost think these animals are real animals and not just computer generated, because um, the skin color, the textures, and everything, the movement, it is outstanding what Frontier is creating here and what they are capable of creating nowadays. If especially if you compare it to the yeah, early game animals, to the base game animals, which are fine, but Compared to these, definitely uh, look a lot different in terms of quality and realism, everything like that. So if you want more African animals, or if you are looking in general for awesome animals uh, that look amazing, everything like that, I can definitely recommend this DLC. It's, of course, it's an animal DLC, so there are no building pieces or anything like that. Um, for that, I, of, I can, of course, recommend also the last DLC, the tropical DLC which had building pieces. So definitely a win for these, for people who just want awesome animals to have to play around with African animals and everything like that. If you are going just by the name and you want, yeah, you're thinking, okay, it's an arid animal pack. Okay, I want uh, animals from all over the world that live in deserts. Um, Af American deserts are of course a very prominent uh, feature and stuff like even in Australia you have yeah, the whole of the country, almost all of the continent is a desert. So if you're looking for desert animals in general and everything like that, uh, without further knowledge of the DLC, then, as I said, I have to say, this DLC might not be for you, um, because as I said, there are only African animals in this DLC. Um, it's still not very clear why they then just gave, not gave it a name like, uh, African Ari and Animal DLC it is a long name, I know, but um, the name could be a little bit misleading if you are just looking in general for Af for arid animals. So um, I still recommend the DLC then, uh, f maybe f for a later point in time when it's um, you know, when a sale is on is, is going and it's a little bit cost less money and you then figure or think about adding a new DLC to your collection. Then of course I can highly recommend it. But if you're just build uh, wanting to get this DLC for arid animals in a worldwide sense, then this DLC, of course, doesn't fit fits that criteria. But still, I have to say, this DLC is an awesome DLC. It is really amazing what Frontier did, and while there isn't much to it, I mean, we have, of course, we have the eight animals, which are amazing, and we have a new exhibit animal, uh, and a standard exhibit, not a walkthrough exhibit, which I saw many people are a little bit annoyed at that we don't get another walkthrough exhibit, but I can still say I was hoping, um, as uh, also a couple others, for a normal exhibit because they are still a lot more versatile than the giant walkthrough exhibits that, uh, yeah are sometimes very hard to work with, especially in, in closed um, in closed areas like buildings and such. So a normal exhibit, which with a very cool uh, animal, the horned viper, desert horned viper, which looks really cool. So it's still, it's a nice uh, exhibit. And then we have a new statue, the new camel statue, and we have signs for all of, no, not all, almost all of the animals 
from this DLC. Um, we don't have a sign for, as I just said, the Horned Viper, which I don't really understand because we also got signs for other exhibit animals. We got signs for the Crested uh, Danube Newt, we got signs for the Axolotl, for the Terrapin. So I don't really know why we don't get a sign for the Horned Viper. Um, but as I also said in my GLC overview video, it could be that my version doesn't have it in it and the release version that you guys can buy will have the sign in it. I don't know it yet, uh, but so far from what I saw, there is no sign for the Viper. But we have two signs for the Dama Gazelle um, in a running motion and two different um, animations or two different ways of motion, which is really cool to make some awesome murals with it. But still, yeah, the signs are awesome. There are no new plans in the DLC, and our only new plans are coming with um, the DLC, and uh, not the DLC with update 1.14. And talking about update 1.14, of course, it is on the smaller side as uh, most of the last DLCs we had are, because uh, as the common theory goes, we are going getting to an end of uh, of the life cycle of Planet Zoo. And so the uh, updates are a bit on the smaller side now. We get the awesome new uh, flexi color stuff option, so we can finally change the color of the um, clothing of our staff members, which is really really cool. And something I uh, many many uh, we hope many lo people of us hoped for for a long long time. Um, so this is really cool. And of course we get the new camera options, this new cinematic camera mode and everything like that. And a new behavior with uh, the spitting behavior. So your camels, both the new um, dormitory camel as well as the bacterian camel and the llama can now spit at guests, uh, which is very cool and very funny thing to play around with. I don't know how many people will see it in sandbox because people who play sandbox like me usually tend to have either no guests in their zoos or to have the zoo on pause mode most of the time. So I don't know how many of us will see that there, but for people especially in franchise mode, this is really cool. But we get, if you're talking about new plans in this DLC, uh, or not this update, my goodness, I will confuse it every time. Um, it's a little bit, I also said that in the update overview, it's a bit disappointing. Um, we are getting two versions of already existing plants. We are getting more options for these. So we have already we had two uh, desert bushes, and now we're getting three more variants of that bush. Uh, not even a new plant. And then we are getting three. Uh, yeah, for these two bushes, we are getting also a dry version, a dead version in three variants. This they are cool, um, especially also for some uh, ground litter and everything like that. But still, um, I of course, no, it's desert you see there aren't many plants in the desert, um, which is of course understandable because it's very hot there. But I would would I have hoped for more uh, plants or more diverse plants, maybe a new palm plant, maybe a new grass variant or something like that, um, even if it's just a new bush, for example, or we know we are in the African setting, but one of the new bushes is from North America. So maybe why not a new cacti? for example, uh, for desert areas. Only because they are not found in Africa doesn't mean we can add them with this pack. If in the other bush that got added is from North America, so we can still add plants from North America. So a new cacti would, of course, have, be, would have been very fitting for this DLC. But it is what it is. Um, maybe I also missed something uh, and I didn't saw all the new plants. This is also, of course, always possible and someone else fig uh, found something else. Um, but I, I'm sure uh, I I found everything that was new. Uh, but of course, I'm, I'm also not always perfect in finding everything. So maybe there is hope for that. But still, um, the update itself, as I said, is a bit on, on, the, on the smaller side, but it's still, it's, it's, it's a fine update. It's nothing groundbreaking I and mean, you get it for free. So as a free, as something that you get for free, um, it is great. Uh, also the plans that you get for free is, are great. It is not common nowadays that you get stuff for free just like that. So giving Frontier giving us these updates every free month with a ton of new stuff and new pieces, new plans to play around with. Even if you don't buy a DLC, it's not, still something we have to thank them for. So um, I, will complain about some things but that doesn't mean that I don't yeah don't see the value of this update. 
So um, all in all I have to say, update and DLC are, are a fine addition to the game. The animals itself are really really the stars of, this, of, of both of them. They look fantastic, they move fantastic. The choices with the porcupine, the black rhino, the dormary camel, which both and all animals we wished for for a very long time are amazing. Of course we would have wished for other animals, but I also talked about that in the first uh, episode of this new zoo series. So if you want to have a more in-depth um, yeah, talk about what my our thoughts were and what I would have wished for more in this DLC, I recommend watching that. But yeah, in the end I have to say, um, really cool what we got here. And now getting back to this build here, um, you just saw me finishing these little cave systems over here. And I have to thank Lider for the inspiration for these caves. I think he made a similar one for his uh, meerkat habitat and also his meerkat blueprint. And I kind of took a little inspiration from that. And Lider, my boy, you are an awesome creator. And if you haven't checked him out, I uh, highly recommend. So he just crossed 2000 subscribers. So um, yeah, give him all the love he deserves. And of course, inspiration from his, from the Majesty himself is always a great inspiration. But yeah, um, <laughs> we are now finishing up the habitat. So I will leave you to the rest of the speed build with some music. And then I see you in the real time part at the end. And yeah, thank you for watching uh, so until the, until now, and I hope you also watch the rest of the video. And yeah, thank you for being here. I see you in the end of the video. Right, here we are now in the real-time part, standing on the side of our plaza that we made last week. And now we have, on our left side, we have our first exhibit for this zoo, which is, of course, as you saw in the video, the sand cat. And there they are, <laughs> eating and munching on some lovely meat or on other foods. And yeah, we have basically three different viewing options here. For this exhibit, we have this one over here um, with this lovely sunshade overhead with this implied door frame here. Hello! <laughs> Where you can get really close to uh, the sand cats when they are eating. And then if you follow this small path here, hello, you get to the second viewing option over here with these lovely stair stairs and then this little cave underneath, this little burrow underneath, which they can actually use. They can use all burrows and caves that I made. They can also go up here and they can also go yeah, under here into this little cave over here. Um, so they can use all of them. The hitboxes for this animal are really, really good. And then over here we have this last viewing spot in this little um, courtyard in front of the house where a keeper or a, a ki yeah, a, a from from the stuff just uh, appeared out of the wall. That's the next one, and uh, that's because there's a path behind there, and I'm on the roof. <laughs> As always in these episodes, I'm on the roof. 
Ah, uh, almost. So, now we go. <laughs> but yeah, this little courtyard over here um, with these lovely stores and these inverted... I don't know what it's, what's the um, specific term for it, uh, just Goron uses it all the time and I haven't, can't remember it at the moment. But yeah, th it looks like um, the habit or the stairs would are going into the habitat and also are going inside the viewer's area over here. So maybe if you're a small kid, you can go up here and get a very close look towards the cat when they are sleeping over here, for example. And yeah, it just is a bit more immersive um, for the viewer if that what they see in their, in the outside area is connected to what they, what they see in the inside area. As you can see here, yeah, they are using the little bore over here. And maybe the small sand cat is coming up the stairs to sleep on this spot. This would be very lovely if you're doing that. Yeah, there you go. Going up here and now sleeping over here, which is very cool. Almost sleeping in this little basket. Uh, as as, as my, my idea was for this area that they would sleep, uh, that in real life they would maybe sleep in these baskets um, over there, curl up there because it's a bit more secure. But yeah, there they are sleeping, very cute. And yeah, um, our first exhibit for Wahad Jamila. And next week, as a little spoiler already or a little sneak peek, we will be building for the porcupine, for the African crested porcupine over here uh, alongside the banks of the oas of the oasis. We will be building a lovely habitat for them and then we will see how we go from there for the rest of the zoo and if we are managing to, managing to get all around this oasis uh, during yeah, our playthrough. We will see what I have to see and to plan everything. But yeah, um, if you enjoyed this episode, maybe consider giving this video a like. And if you feel, of course, especially happy, maybe also consider subscribing to the channel. We are getting close to 1000 subscribers every day, closer and closer. And you could be a part of the team and part of the people who supported me in, in reaching that goal. So you would make me very happy. If you yeah maybe consider subscribing and then I hope I see you in the next episode next week and until then have a great time stay safe and yeah goodbye everyone and enjoy the, the, the arid animal pack if you are buying it today maybe enjoy your enjoy the new DLC and tell me what you are building for and then I see you in the next week bye bye everyone.